if we're looking at this loss here in week five, guys, if there's one guy that seemed to shine, it was defensive end Yannick Ngakwe. Two yep. sacks on the day. Marcel, this is a guy the team absolutely loves. Voted a captain. has got yes. a motor that won't end like Max Crosby. Lots of like what we saw today. Being voted a captain is one of the greatest honors you can ever receive as a football player, yep. especially in the NFL. And it says a lot that he was a, 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 new, a new guy coming into this locker room, a veteran, and then voted a captain right away. So bravo to him. And listen, guys, this is – Playing this, this position on the defensive line is not all about the sack numbers, but today he finally got them. And when you get that monkey off your back, they come in bunches. So I was excited to see him get those sacks. Now, once we get Max coming back on with him, They've been disruptive, and yeah. now the sack numbers will start to come. Because he's finally healthy, guys. He's finally healthy, kind of banged up early in the season. But, again, he provides great pass rushing, speed rush off the corner. Looking at the beginning of the game, you thought, he's going to have some opportunities in this game. Absolutely. So happy that this guy, because he worked so hard, turned it on. Let's roll it here. First going to line up on the right side. And, again, great hand movement, but the consistency to never stop. His motor never stops. You can line him up anywhere on the defensive line. Once he's healthy, he's going to be a dominant performer for this football team here. Hey, we're going to put him on the left side, <laughs> work on that right side tackle. And again, it just shows you again, guys, what it's about. When we talk about a high motor, when we talk about being able inside rush here, and now just look at the stop. motor. Never look at the stop. motor. That's what get, this defensive line has been performing at such a high level the whole season. Mm -hmm. And it's basically because that's offseason. Him and Max have really dedicated themselves yes. to being the best of the business, being the best at the two guys. So when you have that great pass for us, here's some things that could go wrong, right? <laughs> so you're thinking pass, pass, pass. You have your two tackles, particularly your right tackle, over the guard. He's thinking, you know what? Forget this. I'm a jet. I'm a get up. One gap. Don't care about the run. Let's run it here. Max comes inside because he's mm -hmm. trying to make a play, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're not disciplined, these are things that can happen to you. But you know what? You go into halftime, your coach says, hey, you listen, we got to be more disciplined. So we're going to put our tackle over the nose so he can't get to the second level. And this is the kind of results you get when that happens. Roll it. Really good adjustment by Gus Bradley. Great job. Takes away the double team. And look at that. Jefferson, Hankins in the middle, making it happen. You see the excitement we haven't from Nick White. What you, we what haven't you, talked enough about Quentin Jefferson. Right. Now, right. I finished my last two years playing with him. That guy has extreme energy and plays tough, tough, tough at the point of attack. We're talking about waves here when you're talking about Demons of Line and the start of the year. So here we go again. We're going to cover up that center again so he can't get to the second level. They use a little motion here. But look at this. Hankins takes on two, makes a tackle with his back. With his right? back. <laughs> with his back. Right? <laughs> These are the things, guys, that we can look forward to. Being able to go in at halftime, make the adjustment, come back out, and make it happen.